Hey, what's going on, everyone? <clears throat> Good evening. It's a uh, stack in the south. It's Thursday evening. Um, man, <clears throat> it's been a week since I've done a video. I can't believe it. I've kind of been a turd, but uh, and on all, all honestly, I've just been super busy. And uh, you know, uh, silver has not been much of a focus, you know, for the last week. But I think y'all know I got something pretty big coming up. So, but I just kind of wanted to let you all know I'm still here. I'm still alive. Um, still looking at silver. I'm just kind of put it on the back burner. But you know, I said that and then what I end up getting, you know, a week and a half, a couple weeks ago, a couple of Libertads that were a good deal nonetheless. But I also went ahead and uh, I did a thing yesterday and I will have a video about that next week, guaranteed. And in fact, I'm gonna try and do a premiere video so I can be in there uh, with the live chat I just have to figure out how to do it. I only have a phone. <clears throat> I don't know if that's a computer thing um, to do that. Maybe somebody who knows how to do the premieres could tell me uh, kind of where I could go to find out information. Anyway, so I'm going out of town this weekend, so I want to do a video before I go because I don't want you to think, I, guys, I'm another one that's just dropped his channel because um, I'm not. I'm still here. I'm still going to create some content, like I said, got that wedding coming up, so that's kind of taking priority, but I'm going to drop some videos, probably a few less. There will definitely be less silver stacking happening, but um, anyway, let's get down to it. Oh yeah, please like and subscribe. Oops. Anyway, uh, let's see, this is the third one in my series I told you guys I would do a couple weeks ago. Uh, I did my top three coins, my top three rounds. And I said I was going to do my top three bars, and they were supposed to be three consecutive days. Uh, like I said, I didn't get to the third one. I did the Akadaka Stacker uh, unboxing, which was phenomenal. So, here I am with my top three favorite bars. Um, I have about a, close to about 40 ounces in bars. And I only have one five-ounce bar, but um, the rest are all more or less... Vintage and art bars. Um, I have a few other things, but most of them have been around for a while. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole collection, of course. This is my top three because we'll be here for a while and nobody's got time for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, right? I'm going to get started with number three. This one right here. It's the Lake Tahoe. Why do I like this one? Yeah, it's a pretty picture, right? It's a very nice picture, but it has that horrible stain on it from the um the flip little pouch. So there it is. This is a Silvertown, Winchester, Indiana. I don't know. Um, it's not in the perfect condition, but I think most of those scratches are actually on the uh, capsule. I could be wrong. Who knows? But anyway, uh, why do I like this one so much? Because I spent a good portion of my young years living in Lake Tahoe. Um, yep, it was amazing. Um, I'm glad I lived there. You know, and this is just, I, I overpaid for this one. I'm not going to lie. I got this one and uh, from an auction, but I needed to have it, so I paid a little extra. Um, anyway, so that's number three. Number two, I like this one couple reasons. One, I like trains. I'm not a big train nerd or anything, but I do like trains. Um, my grandfather used to have a train track and we'd always play with that when I was a kid, you know, but that's neither here nor there. But this one is really nice. Centennial Chattanooga. You know, this one even has a, it's got a number serialized choo choo, but I really like this one because of the, the toning. You know, <clears throat> I don't know how you get a tone like this, but I figure this is probably something someone did on purpose. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I don't know how this would be happen, so, but I just really like it. Can y'all see those colors? Kind of looks like an oil slick in a way, which is just phenomenal. I, I keep showing this one off. I don't know if you guys are sick of seeing it, but. So anyway, this is number two. Pretty cool. All right, and I'm not going to read that to you, but um, anyway, here we go. That's number two. All right, and number one <clears throat> is this one right here, partially because this was my first purchase 
off a YouTube auction. I was nervous, of course, didn't know what I was doing. I didn't want to get ripped off. Um, I've become more comfortable with those now, but it's my first art bar. In fact, probably my first bar besides the Nadir bar I bought right off the bat in the beginning. Um, and this kind of set me off for getting into vintage art bars. So this one right here, the Shields Mint. Oh, that's way too, way too shiny for that. Um, yeah, I just, I really love the design. You know, I'm not sure the color is coming through on the video like it is if I look at it past the camera, but it's just really cool. Anyway, like I said, <clears throat> first YouTube auction. I don't remember who. <laughs> I don't think it was Spokane. It could have been, but I don't think so. Um, I'll have to look back. I have it written down or something somewhere. But uh, anyway, that's my number one. That right there is my favorite. I have some really nice ones. And of course, you know, it's sometimes hard to nail when you have a whole bunch of things you like. And they're all different to just three. So, excuse me. I just ate uh, dinner. So I burped. I apologize, y'all. Anyway. Here's an honorable mention. My only, my only bar beyond one ounce. Germania Mint. Five ounce. And if you guys don't have something from the Germania Mint, they make some beautiful, beautiful stuff. Anyway, it's just nice having that in your hand. Just a full five ounces. And I, I get why people like the five and ten ounce bars, but you know, I do what I do. So there it is. An honorable mention. Another honorable mention is the um little Aztec calendar bar. Well, I don't like it quite as much as the round, but that's okay. I think they did a really good job. Look at the detail on that. It's phenomenal. Try and get too close. Hopefully you guys can see it all. But anyway, yeah, that one's really nice. I like that one. Very cool. I only have one of those. Let's see, what's another one? The Stagecoach. This one is really, really shiny. Um, <laughs> You know, there was a time there I thought maybe I got a fake piece of silver with this one, but I had it tested. It's all good. But this one is cool because you can break it up into quarter ounce pieces. I have zero intention of doing that, but I mean, there may be a reason to do that. I don't know why you would, unless you absolutely had to. For when you have to get out of Dodge. I know that's right. Stagecoach Silver. That's definitely honorable mention right there. And here's one I just picked up pretty recently. Silvertown Mint. Yep. This one's pretty cool. I just really like design on this one. I've never seen one like this. I've seen, I can't say I've seen, oh, I've seen all the Silvertown. But this is the only one of these I've ever seen. I can't remember seeing one in videos or anything like that. So, of course, it's unique. And I like shiny things. Squirrel. So I get easily sidetracked with shiny. Um, so yeah, Silvertown Mint. Or, yep, Silvertown Mint. That is what I have for y'all. Um, those are my top three favorite coins. And uh, I don't know, let me know what y'all think. Um, I know there's a definitely a group of guys out there that just don't really feel the tone stuff, and I understand that. You know, but um, this is what I have for y'all. You know, if you guys want to see the rest of my silver um, bars, I have a video. Um, I could try and link that in the end of this video. And uh, all right, so this ends the silver portion of the video. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Hot Wheel portion of this video. Now, this is going to be a hard decision. But you know what? Yeah. 
I'm gonna go with this one right here. The race day. 94 AMG Mercedes C-Class DTM touring car. I, I just love me some Mercedes and I'm not even gonna mess around. Let's just get this thing out of here. So let's check this out. See, I have no idea how to pronounce that. A GIP, A G I P. Uh, this livery is really, really nice. And it's pretty good detail. Um, and of course, another premium metal on metal. Those are the only ones I actually spend money on. C Class Racer. Now, this. Uh, has details on every side which is pretty pretty sweet my only real complaint with this one and I just realized it as I looked at the back is the plastic wing uh, I don't know I guess I'm just used to these being metal wings on there I'm not sure what why that one's different anyway I like the detail in the lights and they're darker on the outside that's pretty cool um, Anyway, maybe one day I'll do a little thing and I'll show off a couple of my Mercedes. I have a whole bunch, and I am really seriously starting to think about doing a whole nother channel on um, Hot Wheels. Because I have another, another channel. Look at that. I already got little greasy fingerprints on it. That's what I get. All right. Well, cool. Um, I will explain to y'all where I went out of town when I get back guys so appreciate y'all watching um have a good safe weekend stay stay safe and I'll talk to y'all soon I'm out